Number 10, and this one's a doozy, it's Messages. Now, Messages is the most frequently used app on iOS, and people love sharing things with Messages, whether it's photos or links to their favorite websites, but they look like this, but not any longer, because now we have rich links. So when you share links, you get artwork from the website, extracted titles, it's really great. And it's especially awesome when you get shared with things like video, because they can play right in line inside the transcript. <laughs> Look at that guy go. Now, of course, we love uh, using our camera to share, and we've made the camera better than ever in messages. Now when you bring up the camera, you immediately see what's right in front of your camera. Like someone in marketing thought that's what someone sees when they bring up with their camera. <laughs> uh, and you could also slide over and see your family. It's such an incongruous set of images. Um, so, uh, so you could just tap those and insert them right into your transcript. It's really convenient. Now, people really love emoji. And now we've made them three times bigger in the transcript, which is fantastic. And to help you always reach for the right emoji, we're providing emoji predictions as you type. Super handy. But you know, sometimes you've typed a whole message and then you realize at the end that you're totally lacking in emojification. And so we've provided the solution. When you tap on the emoji button, we'll highlight all the emojifiable words there and you can just tap, 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 tap and emojify. Children of tomorrow will have no understanding of the English language. <laughs> so these are some great new features in messages. But you know, we wanted to do something more fundamental with messaging because today, no matter what you say, it's always the same bubble. It always is this, comes across the same way, but no longer because now we have bubble effects. So if you want to say it loud, you can say it loud. <laughs> And if you want to say it more gently, well, now you can do that as well. <laughs> and you know, sometimes you want to get across something personal. An invisible ink gives you the way to do that. So you can just slide your finger across the bubble and clear away the message like that. And it's a really great way to share a surprise. A little scared to see what's behind that. <laughs> you can just slide across. Okay. Now, so sometimes you just like to send a quick affirmation, a quick tap back, and now you can. Just tap, and your thumbs up can go right there in the transcript. But you know, there's nothing more personal than your own handwriting. And so now, we support handwritten messages. Think handwriting bubbles. And you see when it comes across, the care there is the ink just settles in to the transcript. It's really beautiful. And of course, we support digital touch as well. So you can send these very lively sketches, but also with video, photos, even things like your heartbeat. And sometimes what you say really deserves using the whole screen. So now messages can do that as well. You know, making all of this possible in messages has been a huge effort, cross-functional effort, across Apple. And so for our demo today, I wanted to bring up our, some leads from both our engineering team and our human interface design team to give you a demo. So let's give a warm welcome to Bethany and Emron. Come on up. Thanks, Craig. We are so thrilled to finally be able to show you what we've been working on. Now, Imran and I are going to show you the different ways that we use messages, but I'm going to kick things off by jumping first into a thread with my sister Lori, who just got to a graduation. So let's write her back and say, give her my love and tell her I said happy graduation day. Okay, now typically I would hunt for the perfect emoji to tack on the end, but now when I tap on the emoji button to switch to the emoji keyboard, 
words throughout my message that can be swapped for emoji are automatically highlighted. And all I have to do is tap to replace them. So I'm gonna tap to replace love, and I'm gonna choose the type of hearts I wanna send. I'm gonna do bedazzled, I think. And I can tap on happy, and I choose how happy I wanna be. What do you think? Uh, why don't you go with the upside down one? Eh, no. Okay. I'm gonna, <laughs> yeah. Hey, you be you, Bethany, you yeah. be you. I'm gonna do eyes closed, kind of happy, and I tap on graduation, and it switches to the cap, which there is no chance I would've found that. None, we would've been here for days. True story. So I'm gonna go ahead and send that off. So Lori just sent through a digital touch video, and what's so awesome about this is that she created this entire thing using digital touch right from within messages. And they're so much fun to make, aren't they? Yeah, and really, really fun to watch. And I'm gonna let her know how I feel about it using tap backs, which is as easy as double tapping and sending back a heart. It's that quick and that fun, and honestly, it is my favorite way to communicate now. So Lori says she can't wait to see me this summer, and I feel the same way. So I'm gonna let her know, I'm gonna say me too. And I'm gonna send this using a bubble effect. So I just press and hold on the send button. And I think gentle will really let her know how I'm feeling. So I'm gonna choose that one. Oh, so great, Bethany. All right, so. <laughs> <laughs> that sounded a little sarcastic, I think. Well, I think Laurie felt it, that's yeah. for sure. Um, so now the both of us are gonna show you just how fun things have become with a group of friends. I'm gonna go in and uh, revive a chat here by sending a digital touch photo. Now, Bethany just showed us how fantastic those digital touch videos look. Let's take a look at how easy it is to make one. I'm just gonna launch the camera here. You want some space up here? Yeah, just a bit. It is a process, you know? Yeah. All right. All right, I'm gonna pick a color. Let me say, what do you think, what color? Yellow. Yellow. All right, now add my usual shout out and send. It is that easy. Looks good on the big screen. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it looks like Freddie's here and as usual, loud and always ready to talk about some music and he sent over an Apple Music link. And what's great about these is I can just play them right in line without ever having to leave my conversation. It's simply the best way to share music. Let's give it a listen. Oh, LCD sound system always sounding so good, especially at Bill Graham. Um, Anne seems to agree, and she said so using a handwritten message, and these things are always so personal, always so fresh. Let's write back and say they smashed it. And I'm gonna do so sending a uh, bubble effect. I'm gonna choose my favorite, which is slam. Bam, always gets my point across. I think you abuse that one a little bit. I'm you know what? Say it. It never gets old, yeah. right? Oh, it's fantastic, that one. Poor, it looks like I may have smashed the demo for a moment. <laughs> All right, let's try a different one here. Yeah? Yeah. Oh, looks like we might be back up. Let's say it here. They smashed it. There you go. One more time. That works. One more time. What, what do you say? Yeah. Bam. Always looks good. Um, <laughs> I really do use it all the time, don't I? Yeah. Okay, so there we go. You know what? Our friends are always late to the game. They really yeah, are. That's true. It's okay, true. looks like they're playing in San Francisco and. Uh, as you might expect with a band like that sold out. Now Bethany sent over an effect with uh, Invisible Ink. This is fantastic for when you wanna keep something a surprise, which it looks like you may have. Um, so now to reveal the contents, all I have to do is use my finger to swipe away the particles. Let's have a look. Oh, Bethany, you got us tickets. You know. Always coming through, always coming through. Seems like everyone else agrees. 
I'm going to show my appreciation by sending some big emoji here. Make sure I put myself in there. <laughs> and uh, to close things off, let's do this with a full screen effect. And we've got some lovely ones here, like lovely balloons. We'll swipe over to confetti. But I'm going to go with this one. Nothing beats a full screen moment. That's iOS 10 messages, everyone. We cannot wait for you to try it. Thank you. Thank you, Bethany and Emron. It's just incredible work. Well, so those are some highlights for messages. But you know, we thought when it comes to expressing yourself that there was so much more we could do if we could tap into all of the creativity of all of you developers. And so we're opening up messages to developers as well with iMessage apps. With iMessage apps, iMessage has an app drawer with all of your, uh, your iMessage apps. You can tap the plus and get to the app store and find other apps. And when you download them, of course, they're here in your drawer. And there's so many different kinds of apps you can create, from things like stickers, and artists can create stickers as well without even writing any code. But for developers who do want to write code, they have access to the full iOS SDK, including access to the camera, so it can do incredible animated effects with apps like JibJab. You can accomplish more uh, sophisticated tasks as well, like payment with Square Cash, allowing you to pay someone right through the messages thread. They can receive it and redeem it on the receiving end right inside of messages. You know, there's so much you can do with iMessage apps, I'd like to show you a couple of the possibilities in a demo right now. Let's take a look. So let's dive here into a conversation. See, here's a uh, thread with the family. Now I can respond with uh, text, of course, but now with iMessage apps, I can just bring up my app drawer and I can get to all of my different iMessage apps, including some great stickers. So let me dive into these Mickey stickers. We can see that they're all animated. I can actually uh, look through them like this. I can swipe between my stickers, so maybe some from inside out. Here's some from Finding Dory. If I want to send one, I can just tap, drop it right in, just like that. It's really easy and they're really fun. Now, here I received another photo, and the great thing about stickers is you can actually peel them off and attach them to bubbles. So, you know, this one would look cool if I could just take the sun over here Maybe put that up there in the corner, and then maybe a little seal off here on the side, just like that. It's really pretty cool what you can do with these messages. Well, oh look, I got a message from Brian here. Let's take a look at this. He says, we're placing an order for lunch after the keynote, and we can see he's doing that actually with an iMessage app. So he's used DoorDash, and he's placing an order at Curry Up Now. So I can just tap in and see what's going on. Now, there's a group cart that we're all collaborating on through the iMessage app, so I'm gonna look at that. Looks like Phil has ordered the uh, Naughty Non, and uh, Jaws has uh, ordered, Brian's ordered as well. So I can put in my order, and I'm gonna go for this uh, deconstructed samosa. That looks pretty good. And I'm sure Tim would like one as well. And well, it would be rude if you know we ate in front of you guys without getting you some. So we'll just <laughs> up this up a little bit here. And we can just add that to our, to our cart, like this, and then drop it right into messages. <laughs> and it's fortunate Brian will be paying for this. So a final thing I'd like to show you with iMessage apps are these uh, really fun, interactive kinds of apps. And uh, one example is JibJab. So let's jump right into JibJab here. We see there are a whole bunch of fun things. I can scroll through and see the options. I can also, of course, select from a gallery of faces. Let's pick uh, Eddie, maybe. And uh, you know, I can just drop him in to the transcript, <laughs> just like that. And I think this gives you the sense of the power of iMessage apps in iOS 10. So this is the new messages. It's, of course, fantastic on your iPhone. All of this is available to you on your iPad as well. 
And your Mac and your Apple Watch can receive all of this interactive content as well. So that's messages. 